Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to protect your YouTube or Google account with two-step verification. And for anyone whose accounts have been hacked through YouTube or Google as well, we will talk about how to deal with that. All right, so here we go. First step you wanna do is go to the two-step verification website. All right, once you go there, it's google.com slash landing slash two-step. I'll also put the link in the description. Why would you wanna do this? Well. This is an extra layer of security other than your password to protect your account so nobody can go ahead and delete your stuff or hack your information and whatnot. So how does it work? In conjunction with your password, it asks for a device or a security key where you will have to verify it with something else. So it's two steps. All right, so go to the top. It's gonna to say, get started. This is where we're at. Each time you sign in the Google account, you'll need your password and verification code. Add an extra layer of security. Enter your password unique verification code that's sent to your phone. Keep the bad guys out. Even if someone gets your password, it won't be enough to sign in to your account. You will hit get started. Okay. Step one, getting started. You click get started. Okay, it's gonna ask you to sign in with your password. You'll see your email address, you'll sign in with your password. After that, it'll say use your phone as a second sign-in. Your phone is a second sign-in for the two-step verification. Now there are two different things. You can have text messages or voice message sent to your phone with a Google code or you can enable two-step verification and also have on Google prompts. All right, so you wanna say, try it now. It's gonna ask you to send the login with your password probably again. I've already done this, so I had backed out of it. I'm doing it again, so the order might be different for you, but it says almost there, add a backup option. If you lose your phone or a second step is unavailable, you'll need a backup option for your account. Type in your phone number, and you can do text message. How do you want the codes? Text message or phone call? I like text message. Okay, two-step verification is off, but right now voice or text message is verified. So you verified your phone number. Now you wanna turn on the two-step verification. You have to click turn on. Okay, now that it is on, it probably asks you to sign back in. You turned it on. It'll tell you when you turned it on. All right, so. Are you getting tired of verification, typing the verification codes? It's up to you, like I said, if you don't wanna keep typing verification codes, when it asks you to verify when you sign in from a different device or different area, you can add Google prompts. Okay, click add Google prompt. Okay, it says get a Google prompt to sign in. Click get started. This is what you will receive on your cell phone or device when you go to sign in trying to sign in from another computer and they'll say where it's from, near whatever city you live in in, this, in the state and the country. Yes or no? You'll know it's you if that's the same area that you live in and it's the same device that you're using. You say yes, it worked. Okay, CJ can now be used to sign into a Google account. All right, so now it's verified and it's complete. Now you have two-step verification on and nobody should be able to hack your account, okay? Even if they have a password, it's not enough. Okay, so now your account has been hacked. How do you deal with that? Now we will talk about how to deal with your account that has been hacked. Fix hacked YouTube account, also a Google account. Okay, so your account may have ha been hacked, hijacked, or compromised. If you see changes you didn't make, profile, descriptions, email, uh, deleted videos or someone's posting other stuff, okay? So first thing, you can, can you sign into your Google account? If you can, you check here. You click here, secure your Google account. Okay, so security checkup. You wanna make sure everything is in green and also click on the actual arrows and verify everything is correct to your knowledge. Make sure everything is correct. That, and you can also remove some of the stuff 
if you think that there's, they shouldn't be on there or maybe there's apps that you're no longer using that are linked that you gave permission and whatnot, okay? All right, so if that is not it, if that does not help you, you can't sign into Google account. This is where you're gonna go. If you can't sign into Google account, follow the steps to recover your account. Click on that. All right, then you're gonna type in your email and your password, and then it's gonna ask you questions. You'll be asked some questions, confirm it's your account, answer as best you can. If you're trouble, try the tips to a complete account recovery. Answer as many questions as possible. Use a familiar device and location. Be exact with passwords and answers to security questions. If you're asked for the last password, to remember, enter the most recent one you recall. Follow the steps through here, guys, to recover your account. Answer your security questions. Enter an email that was connected to the, your account. Also, how you could protect uh, under signing Google. Again, two-step verification. So this is really important, guys. And then here, if you want to reset your password when prompted, choose a strong password, okay? What's really important, guys, is also log out of your accounts. A lot of people do not log out of your accounts. Log out of everything. Do not leave things uh, logged in. There's a little box that says stay logged in. That is the worst thing you can do. Uncheck that box and log out of every account on every device. Also, if you have a YouTube channel and you have your email in your about section, is that your personal email? Well, it shouldn't be. That's not the email you want to use. Create a different email with Google, doesn't take long at all, and update that email. Get rid of your personal email on your Google account, your YouTube, your YouTube account, okay? Even for all your social media accounts, use a different email. Do not use your personal email. You want to make this hard for the people who are trying to get your information. Don't make it easy for them. A lot of people make it easy. They make passwords that are patterns. They um, just leave things signed in. They might sign in somewhere else or you know, someone else has access or an app. You don't know what it is, okay? So sign out of everything. Make passwords that are, are strong and unique, ones that are hard to even think about. If you have to write it down, write it down in your house. What happens is somebody, when you leave something signed in, Somebody could easily get into your account if you left your your what your account signed in somewhere. So that's one of the easiest ways. All right. I hope that helped you guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Keep checking out the how-to videos. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one.